Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining in. And I can't wait to share this topic with you. That is how to deepen your yoga practice with me. A lot of you have been following me either on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and you've been asking me these questions like, well, how do I go from what you're sharing? And then how do I implement that into my yoga practice? So what a lot of you probably don't realize is that I run monthly immersions. So what a monthly immersion means is that within one single month, we practice yoga 12 times together. Three days a week, we're practicing yoga asana. And asana is the physical practice of yoga, by the way. So if I say asana and yoga, they're kind of interchangeable since yoga these days means asana. So we practice three days a week. And those, in those three classes each week, we're focusing on something specific. So it might be the entire month has a particular focus, whereas sometimes it's just the week that has a particular focus. The month always have a, has an overarching theme, whether it's physical or it's a theme regarding, uh, you know, a teaching in the Yoga Sutras or something out of Tantric philosophy. So I want to go over a few things because if you want to develop your practice and deepen, you're probably wondering, well, you've got questions based on your personal practice and how do you know where to start with me? There are many immersions that might target exactly what you're looking for. And so I want to go over those with you. First things first, if you sign up for immersion, you never have to practice live. In fact, all of the, the practices, if you sign up for an immersion, you get lifetime access to all of the classes within that immersion. That means after they are live, then of course you can watch them at any time. So let's go over some categories of asana and categories of yoga practices. You've got something in your practice that you're probably always looking for more of, whether it's balance, hip openers, arm balances, handstands, heart openers, shoulder flexibility, back pain, whatever it might be. So we're going to go over these different categories and I share with you which practices are most appropriate for you on the yogimat.com. The immersions are categorized in many of these ways. Okay. So I want to go over the first thing. A lot of people will ask me about, I want to increase balance. And first of all, any immersion that you practice with me is going to increase balance. However, if you really want to focus on balance on your feet, then you're going to want to stick to the um, immersions that are really focused on hip openers because a little secret into the methodology of how I teach, if I'm going to help you develop hip flexibility, I'm also going to help you develop hip strength. Hips are one of the, the most important areas of the body for balance, including ankles and feet. So let's just start right there. If you want to develop balance, both ankles and feet and hips, the two immersions that you're going to want to get is the July immersion from 2020 and August 2020 immersion. Those two immersions are perfect for hips and ankles and feet. They both take you through a journey from the feet all the way to the hands and the head. Um, and each of them have different uh, strengths and, uh, and, and I would say different um, approaches to the practice, but they're, they're both really going to help you with balancing on your feet and also developing hip flexibility. Now, the major difference here is the August immersion, Journey to Bliss, is not only going to help you with balance and hip openers, but it's also going to help you with heart opening and shoulder flexibility. That's the August 2020 immersion, okay? Now, the July immersion is going to help you with balance and hip openers, but it's also going to help you with arm balances. And I'd like you to know this. If you're looking to do arm balances with me, Okay, so you have the July immersion, and then also you have the October immersion called the breakthrough. Hip openers and arm, arm balances, the July immersion and the breakthrough, which is the October immersion. Those two are really great for hip openers and arm balances. Most arm balances, by the way, require hip opening. It's very hard to do an arm balance where your legs are on your arms if your hips aren't open enough, flexible enough to place the leg on the arm. Okay. So if you see an arm balance um, training or immersion with me, it's always going to have hip opening involved in it. Unless in the case of handstand, that's the one arm balance or hand balance that doesn't necessarily require uh, hip opening. But there is a handstand immersion and that's very specific. It's the December 2020 and that's called hips, heart and handstand. So 
the handstand immersion also has hip opening and heart opening to it. Okay, so, so far we've gone over the July immersion, which is the chakras and the elements. Okay, that's the title of it, the chakras and the elements. So it's a journey through the chakras and the elements, um, meaning it takes you through the different areas of your body and how it correlates with uh, these energy centers called chakras and the elements that are all around us and within us called the Mahabhutas as, uh, as it is in nature. So the elements and, uh, sorry, the, the chakras and the elements immersion, that's July, 2020. And its focus is hip opening, balance and arm balances. Okay. We went over the August, 2020 immersion. That's going to be focused on, uh, it's really going to develop your balance and it's going to, uh, develop heart openers and shoulder flexibility because there's a, a, I think a two hour workshop in there on full wheel pose that really helps you understand the shoulder biomechanics and also helps you develop flexibility in the spine. And then the October immersion called the breakthrough is going to be hip opening and arm balances. Now let's go to for a moment down here. I'm not sure if boot is in the way, but this has shoulder flexibility. It's an, an area that a lot of people really want to work on. So I created a whole immersion called boundless freedom. And that's September, 2020. So if you're really looking for shoulder flexibility, September, 2020 called boundless freedom is the way to go. Okay. Now let's go move straight along into twists and side bends and also hard openers over here in that category. We have an immersion called, uh, the spinal reset and that's November, 2020, the spinal reset. So this immersion is really great because it goes through back bend, side bend, twist, and forward folds. So everything that has to do with the spine, I put into one immersion, 12 classes focused on spinal health. Okay. Again, that's the spinal reset and it's November, 2020. Okay. So if you're really looking for meditation and breath work, um, there is meditation in almost all the immersions, except for, I would say January, 2021 and February, 2021, but March, 2021, which is a, an immersion called move, breathe, release, move, breathe, release is focused entirely on yoga, move, um, asana, breathe, pranayama or breath work and release is the idea of meditation release into the fullness of all there is. And there's different themes in every day, uh, in, in every practice. Okay. So once again, all immersions on the yogimat.com have 12 yoga classes within them. Some of them have bonus um, meditations, such as uh, all of the immersions from March 2020 through August 2020 have four meditation practices included in addition to the 12 yoga classes, okay? King Pigeon and Hanuman, the splits pose. Do you know, uh, you know where you one leg forward, one leg back? That's Hanuman Asana. And King Pigeon is the one where you, um, you're reaching for your foot and you're placing on your head. Okay. So those two yoga postures are really popular, well sought after because the flexibility that is required, I think, in the hamstrings and hip flexors for splits pose, and then the flexibility of the spinal column and shoulders for King Pigeon. So I put those in one immersion and that immersion is the May 2020 immersion called King Pigeon and Hanuman appropriately. So pretty easy to remember that one. Um, if you're looking more for like bound postures, June immersion is the one that you're going to get birds of paradise. Okay. That's going to get all the shoulder mobility that you need, but also flexibility of the inner thighs. And in addition to birds of paradise, the June 2020 immersion also focuses on a pose called Vishva Mitrasana, which is a very challenging posture. It's a compass variation where you grab the foot like this and you're in a side plank position. Okay. Now that pose, um, and compasses, I think included in that one, that pose Vishva Mitrasana is a very challenging posture. Um, but I break it down over the course of the 12 classes, as well as, um, standing birds of paradise where you're bound, the arm is bound around, you're standing and you're reaching the leg up. Okay. So that's the June immersion. 
If you're just purely looking to work on strength and flexibility, I didn't put that category over here anywhere because everything's working on strength and flexibility. But people usually like to say, I want to get stronger. Or I want to get more flexible. Listen, all of these immersions are going to do that for you. But I, did, I titled one immersion in particular and focused entirely on this idea of strength and flexibility. And that was the January 2021 immersion. And it's called the Pulse. Now, if you're more, I put under here the category of flow. Some of you like to learn from me because of the techniques, but you also like to flow. So I wanted to provide a way for you to um, learn how to implement techniques and, and muscle actions engagements into movement-based practice. Now this is a more advanced practice and it's called the dance, align and refine your flow. The dance is from February, 2021. Okay, the dance is a very challenging practice. I would say it's only appropriate if you already have a decent uh, level of flexibility. It's not something that you want to jump into if you're more of a beginner, okay? If you're more of a beginner, stick to the immersions that I've mentioned so far, the July, the August, um, September again, which is for the shoulders. You might want to do October for the hips and then November for the spinal reset. Maybe just do those three in a row and that way you've got shoulders, hips, spine, you've got the big areas of the body, um, you know, awakened and alive and you know how to practice uh, with me because it is a very technical uh, approach to the practice of yoga. So once you get that down and you feel maybe you want to challenge yourself, maybe then it's time for the immersion um, called the dance. But again, the dance is, is movement based we align through movement and then there's a flow at the end of every class and the flow is not like to music or anything like that it's it's a, a steady pranayama like the breath is moving at a steady even pace and and we're moving our body through different postures and it becomes like a dance because the movements between the poses are linked all right so so far i think i've hit almost every immersion for you so uh, on the list let me just see what i might be missing the April immersion from 2020, and it's called low back, low back, neck and shoulders. So let's just quickly go to, uh, I don't know if it's here necessarily, but let's go to the back. Okay. There's a few immersions that are great for the back. Obviously the spinal reset, which is November, 2020. Also the April, 2020 immersion called low back, neck and shoulders is great for the back. Um, but spinal reset is, is my top recommendation. Then uh, the August immersion has back bends and twists in as well, and uh, something called fire line core, core activation. So August immersion also has core, might be interesting for you. Um, and then more on the back, let me think here, uh, if I go through, oh yeah, of course, the May 2020 immersion again, which was um, uh, around King Pigeon and Hanumanas, and that's gonna be very helpful for back bends or spinal health necessarily, okay? Um, I don't know if I really pitched enough move, breathe, release, but that's one of my favorite immersions. And because it's around breath work, meditation, and as asana, I think it's, uh, it is the least popular, uh, perhaps because not everybody feels like they're ready to practice meditation. Oh, I can't meditate. I can't sit still. I, you know, this is the reason why you would want to practice something like this. It'd be like saying, oh, I can't do yoga because I'm not flexible. But, I mean, or it would be... Also, I mean, let's make it even more obvious. It'd be like saying, I can't eat because I'm hungry. That doesn't make sense, right? Like if you are hungry, you would eat. If you're tight, then you would practice flexibility. If you're weak, you're going to practice strength. If you're not good at sitting still, you're going to practice sitting still. Okay, so there are practices or all of these are practices for what we aren't good at. They're not performances for what we are good at. Okay, so I think I've covered all of the the classes. I'm going to do a quick rundown again. So just to remind you um, what each one is about. I'm going to go backwards now from uh, from most recent to uh, to the earliest for the last year of this uh, immersion process. Move, breathe, release, which is the immersion that is happening March 2021, is entirely focused on yoga, breath work, which is called pranayama, and uh, meditation. Okay, it's an excellent immersion, especially if you are interested in doing either breath work or meditation. This is an, an excellent experience to go through. Okay, so the dance, align and refine your flow. So this is all about transitions between postures. 
um, and there are multiple flows within that immersion. Uh, the pulse, which is January now, strength and flexibility is the focus. Of course, we're doing strength and flexibility throughout the majority of the body. So shoulders, hips, uh, back. So think about the pulse as your overall, you're going to develop strength of different areas of the body, flexibility of those areas as well. Then December 2020 immersion, you've heard me talk about the most popular immersion called hips, heart, and handstand. Okay, that's, uh, I think it says it all. We're always focused on some elements of handstand, but we're also doing hip openers and um, some heart openers as well. November 2020, awesome immersion called the spinal reset. That's going to have twists, back bend, forward fold, side bends in that entire immersion. So 12 classes focused on those pose categories. October immersion, the breakthrough. Okay, hip openers, balance postures. It's going to be uh, uh, arm balance postures as well. So balance postures, hip openers, and arm balances as well. Okay, so really great immersion. I also like the, the idea of the breakthrough. Um, the theme there was around this idea of anugraha, which is the revelation that happens when things come together. When you take all this knowledge and you put it all into one, eventually things unfold. I mean, those aha moments, that's what the breakthrough is all about. September called Boundless Freedom. That is, uh, and by the way, September 2020 called Boundless Freedom. At um, some point you might be watching this when it's 2021. Um, and the September 2020 immersion called Balance Freedom is all about shoulder uh, releases and biomechanics, how to move the shoulder blades versus how to move the arm bone. Um, very technical, very specific about each area of the shoulders, the collarbone movement. Um, then Journey to Bliss, the August 2020 immersion, that's going to have, um, can take you from the ankles again. So that's going to be balance. Um, it's going to be, there are some arm balances in that, but it's, there's a big heart opening, um, full wheel workshop within that one. Uh, then we've got the July immersion chakras and the elements. Of course, there's going to be heavy on the theming in that one. And there's going to be arm balances, ankle stability, hip flexibility, hip stability, in the July immersion, June immersion, Birds of Paradise and Vishvamitrasana. So if you want to do the bound side angle postures, the bound triangle poses, that's in the June immersion. And the focus there uh, theme wise was on the mind, the different uh, parts of the mind, according to yogis. And then we have the April immersion, low back and neck and shoulders. And that's the April immersion. If you just want an overall experience with me, that's a good one because it, it kind of, um, it goes through the different, let me, let me say this. It's like if you were to practice with me live back when I used to teach classes in Manhattan where you just come and you would take a different type of class each time. Um, that's what the April immersion is like. But there is some focus on the back, neck, and shoulders. May immersion, King Pigeon and Hanumanasana. So if you're really looking to get that King Pigeon pose or you grab the foot back, um, there's many techniques on how to develop spinal flexibility, so back bends, shoulder uh, mobility, and hip mobility in that immersion, the May immersion, King Pigeon and Hanuman, really great immersion. And then the March best-selling immersion, which was the initial one, which is probably why it's the best-selling um, between uh, the March immersion and the December immersion, those are the two hottest immersions out there. The March immersion is just six yoga classes, so it's a good intro to uh, practicing with me if you haven't practiced with me. Um, because it'll kind of give you, uh, it's a lower price point this way. You can come in and see if you like practicing with me and then, you know, it's not a huge commitment, but those practices are some of the best, I will say. Um, it's also like the April immersion. There's no specific focus throughout March. It's just, I call it the bestseller package because it's basically, it was not meant to be an immersion at first, but now I put it all together in a package for you. Okay. So those are all of the immersions. I hope that I've answered your questions on what each of them focuses on. Of course, besides March, all of them have 12 yoga classes. So you're going to get a range of yoga poses within each one. Um, just pick the one that seems most interesting to you, of course. And I have a sales page for each of them to give you more details than I'm giving you right now. So hopefully that this really helps you kind of decide where you want to begin your practice or continue your practice with me. These are all really incredible packages based on these categories that you can get started with right now, get a feel for what you like, what you enjoy. All right, everybody. So thank you for tuning in and see you very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.